We had our very third whatnot auction and it actually went really well. What is up beautiful people? TJ here with another episode. I haven't been around in a while. We've been kind of taking a little bit of break from YouTube. I'm not gonna get into like that. We're just gonna get into what we're gonna talk about today. Uh, and that is whatnot. We was actually so nervous about doing a whatnot auction and not because I had heard anything bad or because I didn't feel like we would do well on it because we have a lot of good stuff um, and we've priced a lot, we've gotten a lot of stuff at really good rates. So <laughs> I kind of felt like we would do well on whatnot. So we tried it, our very first show. Um, honestly, it didn't really work out as great as I would have wanted it to work out, um, but we did sell some stuff. We was only on live for 17 minutes, which was a mistake. And, and I, I, I'll accept that it was a mistake. And we kind of took our um, thought process about whatnot based off that one experience. Well, you know, me and April, we've been kind of doing a little bit of a deep dive, trying to look at some different ways to bring in some revenue to our business, our eBay business. Um, and we said, you know what, let's try whatnot again. So what I did was I actually started shopping on whatnot. I really got into the app and I looked at people's selling styles. I looked at how people listed things. I looked at how they um, prepared their shows, how they put their shows on, um, their different setups. Uh, and, and I kind of got a little bit more confident in how I could run or me and April can run a show. So, you know, long story short, me and April, we got in there, we got <laughs> our stuff listed, which listing on whatnot is like super, super simple. Um, you know, we went through and, and we listed all our stuff and we had a pretty successful um, second show, which I'm going to start referencing as our first show because honestly, it was our, our really our first real show. Uh, we ran for about an hour and a half. Um, we sold a bunch of stuff um, and then we packaged everything up, shipped it off. And then now we had our second show. It was pretty successful as well. Um, I was kind of nervous because I, I was thinking that, you know, people's first show, um, you know, you get like that kind of newness, that, that understanding who you are. Um, and and so you will get a lot of influx of people. And then on a second show, you know, you may not get as many people because maybe they didn't like your selling style, maybe they didn't like your stuff, um, you know, whatever the case may be. So I was a little bit nervous on our second, which was our third show. And uh, it, it turned out great. We had a great turnout. Um, I wish we had a lot more items listed than what we had. Um, we didn't sell out of everything, but we sold out of all of our really good items, the stuff that I would consider like really, really good items. Um, and we sold out of those pretty quickly. As, as fast as we was running them, they was they were selling. So, you know, if you are a person that's trying to get rid of some items um, at, or you want to have a different or a new revenue stream, or you want to, you know, kind of move your items a little bit faster, um, what not is a really good option. So I'm gonna go over to the store. We're setting up our third, which is our fourth <laughs> uh, auction right now. Um, we're gonna have it tomorrow. I'm gonna put a link to the, so you can bookmark the show if you wanna come to the show. Also, I'm gonna link um, you uh, a coupon so you can get like $10 off if you're a first time shopper on whatnot. Um, we also get uh, a little kickback from that as well. Um, but I'm gonna go over to the store and I'm gonna show you all the stuff that we have and uh, I'm gonna show you kind of how I'm gonna set all that stuff up. <sighs> oh, it's a mess in here. So this is pretty much what you get after uh, a whatnot show. We just have a bunch of stuff kind of sprawled out everywhere. Also, we got all of our Amazon boxes and stuff that we just kind of shuffle through to grab stuff. So today I am gonna get this stuff cleaned up. I'm not gonna film that, uh, but I will show you when I get done what it looks like. But so essentially these are all the items that April already has prepped and have in our whatnot show. We've got some electronics, some toys, some different things, some action figures, a bunch of different stuff. And the way that April is going to do it this time is she has a number on there. So that number is going to correlate with one of our listings in our whatnot um, show. And then it'll be easier to pull because I'll say, okay, we're going to run number 19. We're going to run number 20. We're going to run number 15. And it doesn't matter what the item is. Um, you know, we're just going to pick it up and we can run it. So it's going to be a little bit easier flow wise. Um, and then we also got some stuff over here that I'm going to list today. And I'm going to also go through and pull some other items that I can list. Uh, and I want to go ahead and get the space set up. I'm going to do it a little bit different this time. Um, this time is going to be faceless, the most, most of the, the auction. So realistically, you don't have to be on camera, um, the whole time while you're doing a whatnot auction. 
uh, the last two shows, or actually the last three shows that we did, I was on camera the whole time. So this time it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to set the camera up. At the beginning, we'll do our introductions. Hey, how you doing? How's everybody going? Blah, 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 whatever. And then we'll kind of do an overview of what we got. And then we'll go ahead and start running some items. But I'm going to have the camera facing away. And I'm going to have a backdrop behind it. And, um, you know, then I'll just be pulling the items in. And that way I can kind of look at the comments. I can read everything. Uh, I can use the back camera, which is a lot better than the front camera on my phone. Um, it's just a couple of different options um, that's gonna make it a little bit better. Also, because of the way that the whatnot shipping works, these, thank you so much to the family flips because uh, I, I did not know that these boxes existed. So this is a large mailing box. And these are clutch, especially if you are selling like electronics and things that's like kind of bulky, but not like super big. Um, you know, they're, this is box number, box seven. So if you want this one, it's a large uh, priority box. But especially if you're selling things that are just a little bit larger than what you would normally sell, you know, something like this is going to be pretty simple to put in a smaller uh, box. So I do have some smaller square boxes for this. But when you have like five or six items that people buy, because you do get people that buy multiple things because they get a shipping benefit um, when they buy obviously when they buy more stuff the shipping is going to be a lot cheaper for the other items that they buy versus the first item that they bought so you know if you had like four or five of these items you can put it in that box and it's not a big deal you know it's just easy it's square it fits a lot of things um, so it doesn't fit keyboards I will say that I do have a longer box I'm gonna show you the longer box so I did also get these milling boxes which is uh, a 1095 and this one is a longer box it's uh it's kind of reminds you of a regional rate b box but it's a little bit shorter than the regional rate, regional rate b box but this does um this will fit the majority of the keyboards that we have obviously some of them uh are going to be a little bit longer so you may not be able to fit them in there but those have been coming in clutch um what else i'm gonna try this time to be a little bit better with rolling through the items we're gonna try to go for two hours we said that last time we didn't go for two hours just because you know you just start going through items and um you you get rid of uh your good stuff first a lot of times you know you go through and kind of get all that good stuff ran through first and then you know you kind of save your kind of crap you kind of weave in your crappier items and i say crappy items but just items that you know people may not necessarily buy like uh one would think like this soap dispenser is kind of what I would consider like a less tier item. But these actually, we, we actually had a couple of these. These did sell really well. Um, but, you know, I kind of weave those into the really good items. Like people like the PlayStation 4 controllers. People like gaming headsets. Um, people like keyboards, my, uh, mice, my, mouses, mice, mice. Is it mice? Yeah, mice. People like mice. <laughs> so those types of things, you know, I like to... You know, be very heavy on those items because whatnot is kind of pushing the uh, electronics right now. So if you are selling electronics, you can sell electronics on whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's just you know, it's a fun time, and it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, so I have got to get this store in order because it is absolutely bonkers in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the store cleaned up really quickly, um, and then. When we come back, I'm going to show you all the stuff that we sold in our whatnot auctions and kind of go through how much we made on each whatnot auction. See if it's a, it could be an option for you. <sighs> okay, it's been about three hours. I think it's been about three hours since I last saw you guys. The lighting is terrible in here, but, you know, it'll be like that sometime. Anyway, uh, I got all the stuff listed that I want to put in the store or for the whatnot auction. So I'm going to show you all the items. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot. This is the most stuff we've had for a whatnot auction. Um, and honestly, the reason that I put so much stuff into this auction is because I don't think that we're going to sell all this stuff. Um, but I do like having the option of having the stuff available. So we're not like looking around for stuff during the sale. So we'll try to sell all this stuff. Whatever doesn't sell, we'll go into the next sale. Um, we're going to try to do at least a weekly show. It's going to be kind of difficult because I am going on night shift in, um, Next week, I think next next Wednesday night will be my first night on night shift. So uh, I'll be on night shift for like three weeks. Y'all know how I do. I've done this like multiple times on the channel. So uh, hopefully I can still keep up with 
the momentum we built on like whatnot and doing our you know doing the story the ebay store stuff like that so anyway i'm gonna show you all the stuff that we got all right so we've got a bunch of stuff it's not really in like one specific like i guess category if you want to call it that um we just have a bunch of stuff from a lot of different categories we've got playstation 5 games we've got electronics we've got pet stuff we got more electronics um it's just a bunch of stuff like I don't know how to explain it. It's just a lot of stuff. We got some action figures here. Um, we've got massage gun. We've got some other pet stuff. We've got a personal juicer. We've got some wireless earbuds, um, a salt and pepper shaker, like a gravity one, um, a grooming set for a pet, a massager. Um, I don't know. We've got a bunch of stuff here and it's showing, I think 50 listings, but it's actually probably a lot more items because we have multiples of a lot of items like these are the tool set y'all uh probably saw in one of our unboxings uh from the amazon boxes um i got three of those brand new so it's a bunch of stuff and then this is the stuff that i will be prepping for the next auction so my plan is just to start piling stuff on this table we'll go through the stuff that um has a potential to go and whatnot and then we will transfer it and put it into the whatnot listing station also if you remember from the beginning of the video i kind of cleaned up this area a little bit i went through all the boxes got all the good stuff out of it the rest of the stuff is still good stuff i don't know exactly how uh we're gonna list all that stuff some of the stuff is like clothing so we may do like a clothing whatnot sale um before we list them and then stuff that don't you know it doesn't sell maybe we'll just uh list it on ebay but i will say that our shelves and our bins are thinning out which is what we wanted um it's they they've been full for a long time <laughs> uh so i also cleaned this back room up a little bit i don't think i showed y'all the back room before but it was uh highly atrocious back here so i got pretty much everything in the back of the store uh cleaned up we still got a bunch of stuff that we've got to go through and list we got all those video games we've got a bunch of dvds um a bunch of video games we've still got a bunch of stuff from the bins <sighs> it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot uh, of stuff still needs to be all the stuff on these shelves still need to be listed so uh i am happy about this new whatnot thing because you know we can we can go through and we can pull some items and get them sold pretty quickly and it's not like a big deal so kind of a mindset shift that i had to to change or, or to have within myself was thinking about the items that i'm selling and a lot of times i um or we as resellers we want to get you know we want to get market value you want to get the preconceived or, or we want to get how much we think the item is going to sell for based on what it sold for previously. And obviously we all know this, that yesterday's price is not today's price. Something could have sold last week for a certain price and this week is just not worth that much. You know, there's a bunch of different factors that could play in that. Amazon could have it on sale. They could have had a, a huge influx and send them all to Walmart. Walmart got them on sale for a cheaper price. So there's a lot of different things that could affect the price. But what you gotta think about is, and this is just the way I think about it. You don't have to think about this that, this way. This is just the way that I think about it. Um, I often think about it um, in terms of how much uh, I paid for the entire load of items that I bought. So a lot of times, like I'll look at, you know, if I go to the bin store, when I was going back, when I was going to the bin store, I was getting 30, 40, 50 items at one time in a load. So, you know, and I only paid like a hundred, I think the most I've ever paid for stuff at the bin store was probably like $250. And I know for a fact, the one time that I paid $250 at the bin store, I got a bunch of items and one item paid for all of that stuff, like two times over, <laughs> you know? So it's kind of like you start thinking about, well, this is a, this is a $40 item. I'm not going to sell it for $15. Why? If you've already made your money back for that load of stuff that you bought, everything else is profit. Now I know you want to make money, you're in it to make money, but you are making money at that point because now you've already been profitable with that load. So you don't have to really think about, you know, am I going to make the top dollar or even half the dollar of what I think this item is selling for, um, you know, whenever I sell this item. So this, you know, it's just a mindset thing. And this is one of the things I try to reframe my mind and reset my mind to think, okay, all a lot of the stuff that I have in the store if I look at the loads that I bought them on, so if I got it from the bin store or if I got it on the pallet or if I got it in a, a mystery box or whatever, you know, have I made my money back on that load? And most of the time the answer to that is yes. 
So coming into whatnot, I'm not thinking about what the sole cops for those items are. I'm just thinking about getting rid of the stuff and making a little bit of money, um, you know, with it. So that's my spiel. <laughs> I'm about to get over to the house. It is raining all of a sudden. I don't know where this rain came from, um, but it's cold and it's raining. So I'm gonna get back to the house uh, and we'll finish up the video. So we have had a couple of good items sell on eBay as well. Um, we actually sold this 10 inch cast iron skillet cover. This thing was literally in like, those bins in the back of the store where it wasn't listed. Then we sold this cat toy for five bucks uh, plus shipping. And then we actually sold a bunch of those um, automatic fish feeders um, that we got in the Amazon mystery boxes. We sold those for $14 plus shipping. Uh, and then, oh, this is a big one. And I don't know if I shared this on uh, on the channel, but if you follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of stuff on Instagram uh, in my stories. But I actually got this pot for free at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond whenever they were shutting down and we took an offer for it for $185. Now some people will probably say, TJ, why did you sell a $300 pot for $185? Well, I got it for free so <laughs> um, anything is better than nothing and I kind of wanted to get it gone, shipped, out of the way. It's, it's a pretty large, it's a pretty large box. Um, but that was a pretty decent sale um, and it actually wasn't listed for very long. I, I think I listed it probably a week ago and it sold. So that was actually a pretty, um, pretty good sale as well. But eBay has been actually doing pretty, um, pretty good in conjunction with this whatnot uh, sale. I was actually just watching um, Ray from the Nashville Flippers. Um, he's actually live right now on a, a whatnot. So I was actually checking out his show, but I did get everything listed at the store um, that I wanted to sell on this new whatnot show. I'm going to put a, a link down in the bottom if you or not on whatnot and you want to join whatnot um, you can get I believe it's ten dollars off your first order um, if you use our share link also if you want to sell on whatnot we have a separate code that I put down in there as well so show us some love if y'all want to sell on whatnot um, you can use that link and we will get uh, a commission for that if you become a seller so on our last show I did kind of want to talk through some of the items that we sold and I'm not gonna tell you every single item that we sold because we actually sold quite a bit of items I think between both shows we sold almost 60 items which is a lot to go I'm not gonna go through 60 items I'm just gonna tell you that right now <laughs> but I will tell you some of the items um, that we did sell and that was kind of shocking to me so we actually sold um, all of the ps4 controllers that we got from the uh, mystery boxes. I don't know what the cost of goods for those were, but I know that I've, we've gotten our money back for those boxes already. So all this was profit. So we sold them everywhere um, from between $9 and I think the highest one we sold was like $26. So between $9 and $26. And I believe we sold a total of six of them. It may be six or seven, somewhere around there. So we actually sold those. Um, we actually sold two um, binocular sets that these were random things that I got from the bin store eons ago um, and one of them sold for like $26 and the other one sold for um, around $20 so those are some pretty decent just random sales that we had uh, we also sold the electric air pump we actually sold that for eight dollars so some people probably will think like well, eight dollars you should have sold for a lot more than that but we ended up making um, uh, six dollars and sixty four cent from that sale but it was from the mystery box so I didn't we didn't really pay a lot of money for it and honestly it was kind of big and I wanted to get rid of it we sold a ton of of gaming keyboards just tons of them that we had we also sold a lot of a ps5 games that i got for a dollar uh, a long long time ago if y'all remember that from walmart clearance um and those ps5 games some of them actually sold for some pretty decent money um some of them sold from like 15 dollars. some of them sold for like 22 dollars. so um pretty good turn around on those for a dollar and we could not sell them on eBay. I had them listed forever. They were brand new sealed, but they would not sell on eBay. So they did sell on whatnot. Um, we actually sold some of these Fortnite, um, Fortnite, Fortnite <laughs> action figures as well as some WWE action figures that we had. Um, a lot of stuff from our Amazon Mr. Boxes, our uh, Walmart clearance deals that we got, um, and then a few items sprinkled in from my palette. Now on this new sale, most of the stuff is from like the bin stores and there's some stuff from the pallets that we've gotten in the past. Um, just really trying to clear all that stuff out. But all in all, we made around $550 between both shows um, in about, you know, I guess two hours. Because the first show we did was an hour and then the second show we did was like an hour and 17 minutes. So it was about around about two hours. Um, so we was making like almost $300 an hour uh, on the whatnot shows. We could have ran a lot more items and we probably could have gone for a lot longer. Um, but 
live streaming to me, it kind of sucks the life out of me. <laughs> it's very like intensive with making sure that the crowd is engaged, make sure that you, you know, you continuously talk, you're showing stuff, you're answering questions, you're paying attention to the chat. So it is a lot of, of work in terms of like keeping that energy up while you're doing your show. Um, but I think the benefits outweigh the cons, especially when, you know, you can actually have money in your account from items that have been sitting on your shelf for months, even years. So that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope that you liked this uh, video. It was pretty random. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been a little bit not as enthused to make videos just based on, you know, the BS that YouTube kind of gives us. Um, but I don't want to deter that from me and April sharing our story with you guys. So we'll be making videos sporadically. Um, I'm not going to, I don't know what period this we're going to be making videos, but we'll make videos whenever we feel inspired to make videos. Um, if you like these types of videos, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever we do release videos. And we will see you guys on the next one. Peace.